Hello everybody and welcome back to a new episode of New Tropic Zoo. Here in Planet Zoo where we have been creating a modern zoo based in the grasslands of Africa. If you are new around here or you just not kept up with any of the episodes, don't worry. I will leave a link in the description down below to the playlist with every episode. And in today's video, just above this lovely plaza area, just here, we're going to be creating a nocturnal house. And we're going to start by using our little friend, the mud pillar, the basis of creating any circular building. Not the, the whole building is not going to be circular, but this is how we are going to start. If you don't know how to build circular stuff, then I've got a tutorial on that on the channel. Go and find it. It has been very useful. or people have said it's been useful anyway. Um, yeah, so just creating this circle here. We're going to go with the same kind of modern theme, of course, because that's the theme throughout the whole zoo. We're going with the same colours with the conservation pieces that, you know, that kind of like light brown, isn't it? We're going to go with black um, wood pieces, what look like metal as well. We're going to keep it modern. We're going to keep it fresh. And we're going to come up with some kind of unique design. Hopefully, you stick around to see how it does come out looking in the end. Now, the idea for this was to kind of have somewhere for exhibits because we've not actually got exhibits in the zoo yet. We've got walkthrough exhibits, but not actual normal exhibits. So I needed somewhere for them and it's got to be inside and it? it looks a bit stupid when you do it outside. And I thought, why not include a habitat in there as well and have kind of like a, a nocturnal house, hence the name of this video and the name of this build. So that's what I went with. We're going to have a habitat. There's going to be an outside area for the animals as well. So the animal, what we're going to be creating the actual habitat for is the African crested porcupine. So that's how we're going to be a habitat side on the left. And they can come inside as well. And there's going to be an inside nocturnal viewing for nighttime. And then obviously on the right hand side, we're going to have our actual exhibits in place as well. Then we're going to throw in some on the grid pieces to kind of like bulk this out a bit and get our main structure how we want it to look. <sighs> It was quite difficult to build this, I'm not going to lie. There was a lot of on the grid pieces, there was a lot of off the grid pieces. And I wanted to, this is probably the most time I've actually spent in any kind of like building or habitat so far in this zoo. And I wanted it, this piece to kind of piece, sound like an artist, this building to really stand out here and really have a unique look about it. Hence the different angles and the circular building mixed in with the more square on building. But I do think it comes out looking pretty well. And again, I'm keeping with the same colour scheme what you've seen me build throughout this series and throughout this zoo, just to make sure everything fits in nicely. Um, you know, the, the, the stained wood pieces, I've recolored them to the conservation piece and, and, and the metal piece as well, the black metal pieces and the plaster pieces. And it's a colour scheme what really just seems to work and gel really well. These three colours, the black, the kind of like beigey, whitey colour and this lovely like pale um, brown colour just seem to go well when you're building modern stuff in Planet Zoo. I don't know what it is, um, but it just seems to be the best kind of colour scheme. Just adding a little window in here. Obviously, we're going to add some glass because it is going to be modern. Glass works with modern structures. I'm really happy how this came out looking. You can see me just putting the plaster pieces now just at the front. And this is going to be our sign. This is what's going to say nocturnal house. And you can see me just playing about with some of the words here and some of the letters. And I'm thinking it just doesn't fit right and i wanted some unique things so i do end up actually downloading some words and some letters off the steam workshop page by reese's fonts brilliant brilliant um builder and brilliant i nearly said inventor then but well you could say that inventor of fonts on planet zoo maybe does that work is that a thing but yeah reese's fonts i use them for all my fonts uh, off the steam workshop page if you want to use the same fonts i do throughout this build and this is how it came out looking when I've got the main structure of the front in. Let's add some mulch. See, the path is in as well. Let's start adding some trim as well. There's the, the font, the nocturnal house. Add a trim around that just to clean everything up and, and fill in some gaps. But how nice is that font? It's just so nice. I love it. Right, on the left-hand side, where our outside of our habitat will be for the porcupine just created a wall custom wall added some of the conservation pieces and it's very easy just to duplicate it over on the same grid i've got a tutorial on that if you struggle building custom walls 
but just trying to get it right and kind of trying to come up with a design here as well and you can see me struggling to do that now on the right hand side so pay no attention to this right hand side because i totally change how it looks my idea was to have two habitats one on the left and one on the right but the building just didn't it looked too symmetrical for one and for two it looked too big um i don't know if i can explain it very well i know what i mean anyway you see me just finishing off these conservation pieces adding a little trim filling in gaps where i can and just sliding pieces over but yeah forget about that right side we're just going to have a habitat on the left hand side it's going to be an outside habitat what leads into the inside bit and then the inside bit is going to be the nocturnal bit so you'll be able to see the porcupine sleep right let's get this habitat looking a little bit more decent and this building as a whole looking a little bit more decent let's add some foliage say it all the time in planet zoo you probably heard me say it so many times but foliage is king so this mulch patch we're gonna add some foliage that was a lot of foliage in that sentence all right gonna add some flowers we're gonna add some rocks we're gonna just try to style it up a little bit i do end up changing it i always say it if something doesn't look right come back and change it so that's what i do i think that actually looks pretty good looking back at it right now it looks decent anyway you will see how we're changing how we make it look even better now some simple gap filling with with paths as well these custom paths Remember, you can place anything on the ground as long as you run a path underneath, your guest will still walk over it, giving you the ability to create custom paths like I've done here. And now just squaring it off and leveling it up to the path so it kind of like, it's not on the same grid as everything else, but it will fit into the same grid because we've made it match the same grid. That makes sense. Right, you see how I changed the front of it. Look at that. How's that for a change? We've added some windows. We've added a little area. We're going to add some mulch and some more foliage. And we've added this custom little light. And look at this. This actually lights up. So these are the conservation pieces. I've created my own design. I'll just duplicate that up to show you. But yeah, how mint is that? I think I'll delete these actually. And then I'm going to grab this here. And I'm going to move it down. How shall I have it? Shall I have it like that? maybe actually no what i'm going to do is i'm going to overlap it like this like the other ones are overlapping just create a small one and then we're gonna group them together just like that we'll move that over this bit like abstract art isn't it really this is gonna light up the building as well like i said those are lights those white bits and then we'll duplicate these lights of course and we'll put them in these just like this lower this down right let's have a look at night time and see how it looks yeah that's the effect i wanted exactly all right once the lights were in it's time to build the windows up again we're adding that black trim what looks like metal it just it just suits any any frame door frame window frame any kind of frame um and then add one way glass a little bit of privacy on the inside as well it kind of looks a little bit realistic and then on the front as the door, we're going to do the same. We're going to use the metal pieces. We're going to use some glass and we're going to create a door. And this is how I go about creating a custom sliding door. Obviously, it doesn't actually slide, but it gives the impression it slides. If you add these dots, it looks like a sliding door because this is what you would find on a sliding door in real life. This is to make sure people don't walk into the glass, I believe, you know, to actually let people know there's glass there. We've seen it all the time viral videos of people running into glass haven't we you don't want to do that in a zoo so yeah then we're going to duplicate these we're going to add these together and we're going to duplicate them and just lower them down and get another line in like that so it looks like a realistic door in fact we're going to lower this glass up and then we're going to lower these up like that and now it looks like the door can actually slide let's add a bottom just to finish off the look again conservation pieces regal to black look like metal probably fed up with me saying that are you yeah all right let's just get that perfect and then we've got a door as for the roof i just use plaster pieces on this side i just use off the grid plaster pieces recolored them to the same color as the roof and on the inside, this is how I did it. I didn't film it because it was very time consuming and very probably boring to watch. I just layered the bottom of it with grass and the side of it with rocks. This is our viewing area coming together with the same pieces and some glass. 
So that's the inside viewing area of the habitat done and the outside of the habitat barriers done. So it was time to build where our exhibits will be and just a simple square made out of plaster pieces. And then once what was that, that was in, it was time to just create an interior with the same wooden pieces and add the floor in. Right, roof. We're going to go with it on the grid roof. Um, not very custom and very easily to place down. The colour. The colour is going to match the rest of the colours throughout the zoo. And it's going to fit very well with the modern theme. Right, onto the actual viewing areas. We've got our barriers in and it was time to put some glass pieces in so our guests can actually view the porcupine even though these barriers are actually quite low so they could probably see over them but yeah glass pieces best for viewing areas i'm just going to fill in some gaps and lower and we're just going to keep it simple people tend to over complicate things in planet zoo but sometimes simple but effective really does work especially when you've got a building like this which is not so simple and then the gap we're just going to put another um, stained wood piece in that gap as well to kind of like break it up a little bit i'll show you how it looks so you can see the left hand side of the barrier is in as well. I just use glass adding foliage and it looks like this. And then it was time to wrap a null barrier around. Don't worry, I'm going to jump in a minute to me showing you everything I've changed from inside to out and how it came out looking in the end. Like a full tour of the building and the habitat and the exhibits. Nocturnal house in nocturnal house in new tropic zoo is open for business let's take a look outside and inside of this building to show you what have changed and how the complete look looks let's have a quick look of all the foliage you can see the front bit here i've changed how it looks and i've added again those um aquatic pack rocks to make it look like pebbles i've also changed the flooring up a little bit to add a little bit of design our guests are absolutely loving the viewing areas to the outside of the habitat. And our porcupines have got everything they need in here and seem very happy. And, and when I say happy, I mean very happy. On the inside, our guests have got a lovely viewing area to watch our porcupine sleep. Just before you go into the actual exhibits, you will see I've created this lovely little kind of like water feature with lights over it. I've created these modern light structures with LED lights in them and kind of like this actual little like water feature here where our guests can sit around and listen to the water. I'll probably come back at some point and add even more design and more detail to not just this part of the build what you're looking at here the exhibits but to the building as a whole but i am happy how it did come out looking it's just me i think i'm a bit of a perfectionist so starting from the right we have got two puff adders in there on the left we have got two desert horn vipers i can actually just see one under there there it is and then on the separate one here we have got the sacred scarab beetle where if I zoom really far enough in, you'd be able to see them as well. At the rear, we just kind of copied the front, but made it a little bit more simpler. On the top, we added two skylights to give a little bit more light inside the building during the day. And that completes this build. I'm actually gonna show you what it looks like at night because I did add quite a lot of lighting. I just love these custom lights and if I take you inside actually I've put the custom lights inside and on this part I've made them red and put them on this inside of where the exhibits are. All around the edge you will see some LED lights lighting up the building as well. And there it is, it is going to be on the Steam Workshop page, I will upload it. So if you want this building, this nocturnal house in your own zoos, you can do. The link will be in the description down below. But with that being said, that concludes this build and this video and this episode of New Tropic Zoo. And if you did like this video, then hit that like button. My name's Adam and I will catch you in the next episode of New Tropic Zoo.